All right, guys, this morning we are going to do a video on a color wheel. So we've learned in the past about our primary colors, which are yellow, red, and blue. And these three colors make up all the other colors in the rainbow, including our friends, the secondary colors. So then we have yellow and red make orange and blue and red make purple and blue and yellow make green and together those colors create the color wheel which kind of looks almost like a rainbow but in a circle so what we're going to do today is you guys are going to make a color wheel out of things that you find around the house so first thing you got to do is get a container. Miss Tate had a brown paper bag that I had bought some groceries in. So I walked around my house and I collected items that were about all one color. But as you see, as Miss Tate puts this together, you'll be able to see that not everything is all one color. So, got my markers, put those out of the way. So I walked around my house collecting items. So I found like some pool noodle pieces, a bowl, oh, some nail polish, all different items. Push them over here. All right. So these are all things I collected in my house. And what we're going to do today is we're going to arrange items that you find at your house into a color wheel like this. So... Go ahead and pause the video, grab a container, you can grab a laundry basket, a bag, you can pull up your shirt and make a pouch, whatever's going to work best for you to gather all your items. And then when you come back with all your stuff and you've got it laid out on the floor or on a table or your mattress, wherever you got, then you can go ahead and hit play. I'm going to pause for just a second, give you the chance to go collect all your things. Okay, so now you've got all your stuff, right? But we got to organize it. So, I like to start with, I'm going to start with my yellow up at the top. So I'm going to look for all my things that are pretty much yellow, including this LOL doll girl's hair. Then I'm going to find all the things that are red because I'm going to start with my primary colors. So I'm going to find all my things that are red and I'm going to put them down here in this corner. So I got a, co a toy car, a heart shaped doll, bowl. I got some red Legos here that I'll put on here. Okay. And next I'm going to look for my things that are blue. So I got a sock. I promise the sock was clean when I started this. But I got a sock. I got a pen. I got a crochet hook. And I got a Hello Kitty bow. Alright, so now I have my three primary colors all set up. So now all I got to do is fill in my secondary colors. So, I'm going to think about what colors does yellow and red make? Oh, that's right, they make orange. So I got some orange here, including an orange that I'm going to eat after this lesson. So I got my orange. Oh, and I found another thing that was orange. This is a drill bit that Miss Tate uses to help make paint. And this was a package of bolts. Because Miss Tate's been doing a lot of home improvement projects. Then I'm going to think about what colors come in between red and blue. And that is purple. So you know Miss Tate's got all the purple things in this house. Because just like Miss Tate's purple hair. Put that in there. And Mal, she's pretty purple, isn't she? We'll put her in there. And then I have some scissors, right? Let's move this a little. There we go. 
All right, and then last but not least, I got to put my green things in between. What two colors should that go in between? That's right, blue and yellow. We'll get all of my fun green things. All right. Oh, I found another blue. So, when I bring it back up like this, you can see my beautiful, beautiful color wheel. So I have all my colors. I have my primary colors. I have my secondary colors. And together they create a perfect color wheel. So that's what I want you to do. And you can do it a couple different times. You could make a whole bunch of different color wheels all around your house if you wanted to. But this is a really great way to kind of practice and remember how all these colors work together just using things that you have found around your house. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. I know I did. And I know now my daughter is watching and now she's... I know as soon as I get done with this, Kiki is going to want to make one of her very own also. So, I want you to make a color wheel, take a picture of it if you can with your iPad or your mom or dad's phone, and then you can upload it onto our Teams page, or you can email it to Miss Tate, however you want to get it to Miss Tate. Or you can just enjoy it and then make another one out of different stuff. All right. Love you guys. Miss you. Toodaloo.